What's up y'all, it's your girl, she's Prices, and I'm back here with another video. And today's video is going to be all about Love at the Mecca, um, the whole production behind it, the idea, just everything about it. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. And first things first, I wanna thank everybody for all the support they gave me with this project. Um, it started off as an assignment and then it turned into something bigger than that. So, um, let me tell you how I came up with the idea. So, in my visual communications class, we had a project where we had to basically tell a story that has never been told before. My initial idea was to do Howard Mothers, like people with babies on campus. And I only know one personally, but she doesn't go to Howard anymore. And then like, I follow two on Instagram and I, it just it just seemed to be a little more harder than I thought but that's still a story I do definitely want to explore um, and then I thought about it I was like what about relationships that's something that's so taboo on campus that's something that we don't talk about we don't see and like quite frankly it doesn't even exist I storyboarded the project I only wanted to have like three couples at first I didn't think I was gonna get that much attention then I went on Twitter and I was like um, I'm doing a project about um, couples at Howard called Love at the Mecca. If you'd like to, uh, if you're interested, let me know. Tweet went viral. <laughs> Some people reached out to me. Schedules like didn't really work um, with some people, but I ended up doing seven couples and it was, it was a good experience. Things I would have done differently, I would have done them all, tried to do them all in like a week instead of just, um, well, I kind of did try to do them all in a week, but I wish I would have just like had a day and just like knocked them right out the park because um, it was just so many things going on, like with locations, there was background noises, and I wish I would have had like more of a controlled setting because I just kind of used my phone and I could have, like I have all this camera equipment and I could have used my lights, could have used my camera, could have used all this other stuff, but I didn't. Um, because for whatever reason. The project was not finished. I didn't really think about doing like a docu-series until like uh, during break and, excuse me, <laughs> and um, it wasn't until I, it wasn't until I finished everything and I was like, okay, so first I just wanted to be one big documentary. I was like, okay, no one's gonna sit down for three hours. So I'm gonna break this up into episodes. So my project was due and I was like, okay, I don't have this edited. I'm probably not gonna have this edited. My laptop is acting crazy. Um, I couldn't upload anything. Like, it was just so much going wrong. So I ended up um, just using the photos and doing like biographies um, about the couples. And I gotta be on it, I was devastated. I was so upset because I had put so much effort into like the project already, like interviewing people, going to the sites, like you taking up my free time like it was just so much that i had just i just put so much time and i was just like a b was just like a slap in the face like yeah it was it was a slap in the face but um let's talk about the episodes so what did i get out of this project um i am single i have always been single i have never been in a relationship um, I've never been in a serious relationship. I've been in situationships, and that honestly, that shit did. <laughs> that shit did. Um, ne never again. And doing this project made me stand firmer in my beliefs and realize that I want to be intentional with everything that I do. I know I'm young, but I've always been this hopeless romantic. I've always known that I want to be with somebody wholeheartedly, and I want to build with somebody like I don't want to waste time with temporary things you know because you know you know we don't know how long we're gonna be here and I just don't like wasting time and quite frankly I've had my time wasted a lot um I've had strong feelings before so I know I am capable of having those feelings again for a person um it's just you know sometimes wrong time wrong person things life stuff happens a lot of what these couples kept telling um, us was communication is key knowing what you want um, working being consistent and you really just have to be mature because like I don't 
no to many people that was just like, you know, whatever. Except for Jason and Lauren, because the first time, the funny thing is, first time I interviewed them, they were in a situationship. And then, like, over break, they got in a relationship, and I had already interviewed them, and I was like, so y'all just gonna hop in a relationship right now? Like, whoa, whoa. Like, I was happy, but I was just like, now we have to do this over again. And y'all can see their chemistry. So, like, it worked. But, um, yeah, a lot of what the couple kept saying was communication, making sure you're all together before you, like, go towards another person. Um, communication was just the biggest thing. Like, I think almost every single episode, you could see communication was a common topic. Um, trust. Trust is a big one because a lot of people don't trust each other. I have, I'm a queen of don't trust, <laughs> don't trust a nigga. <laughs> don't trust me a nigga, okay? I'm queen of it. So, hearing that and realizing, okay, you know, you can't have this mindset that niggas ain't shit. Even though if you strongly in your heart, wholeheartedly believe it, you can't walk around the world like that. Like, you gotta give people chances and opportunities. But you also have to be smart and say, okay, I'm putting myself out there and is this person reciprocating um, the same emotions, the same, basically the same intention that I have and if they aren't then you can't wait for that person, you can't wait for that person to feel what you're feeling because you're going to get your feelings hurt, <laughs> you're literally going to get your feelings hurt. If you say what are your intentions and they say i don't know i'm not really looking for a relationship run run like they already told you like they don't know what they want and you know what you want so you shouldn't have to compromise what you want just because you kind of like this person like i'm just not doing that again like me this is from personal experience if somebody tells me i'm not really looking for a relationship or i don't really know i'm just trying to fill out the vibe no because you don't know what you want i don't like i don't like that and doing that has had me talk to a person for like eight nine months or <laughs> six months and then just have my time wasted like that's not fair to me, that's not fair to you, and like, why waste each other's time, you know? And the thing about it is, you know it's right when you don't have to question if that person is feeling you or not. When you don't have to question if, they, they will let you know how they feel about you. They'll do it through actions, they'll do it through words, they'll do it through just like little things like that won't keep you guessing. And if you have to like have a second thought about it, then that's probably not the person for you. And once you put your foot down and start taking that, taking stuff, just honestly taking life seriously. Like so many people are just like, oh, we're young. Yada yada yada. Like, yes, you can have fun and be young. Like, being in a relationship is not. Well, from I don't know, I've never been in one, but like from my perspective, it's not like marriage. It's not. You still, every day you're learning about that person. Every day you're growing. We're all growing and evolving. So you shouldn't like this generation like this new generation just thinks like everything is just shackles like it's I'm taking away like my freedom's gone like it's not that at all and if you're some with someone that believes that then that's probably not the person for you this made me very intentional in everything that I do um like I said I've been single for 21 years that stuff in high school does not count like I'm not even being petty like it just don't count it just don't count. I never went on no day. I didn't, I wasn't courted. I wasn't doing, I was like, nigga was talking to like 50 other, like it was, it was a waste of time. It was embarrassing. It was an embarrassment. That's what that was. Um, but like I said, I've also been in situations where I um, developed strong feelings for somebody and um, I think about that a lot. <laughs> I think about that a lot. And you know, quarantine has just got me doing a whole lot of thinking. And sometimes I'm just like, was that real? Am I ever gonna feel that way again? Was I just blinded? Like, what, what was that? Like, 
to this day, I'm just like, what, what the heck was that? Like, <laughs> like in my head, I just like, to make myself feel better, I try not to focus on all the bad, I try not to focus on the pain, like of the, all of that, because like you're gonna drive yourself crazy and that is what's keeping me so closed off like I'm a closed off person I don't trust nobody like and it's because I've been in so many situations where like I've literally just had my heart ripped out <laughs> when I've like done everything for somebody like that 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 fucks with you like that really messes up your head <clears throat> I am grateful for this project because it made me see the beauty in love, it made me see the beauty in college students, it made me see the beauty and importance of black love and representation, love in all aspects, not just heterosexual couples, but queer couples, homosexual couples, like all of that. It made me see the beauty in literally all of that, like, and there's not a lot of representation. And if I had more resources, I would dive deeper than I did. And. Um, it inspired me to want to create and tell stories in a different way. And I'm, I'm grateful for that because I have been very lost and very sad and very depressed these last um, six, seven, eight months. Um, and I'm starting to find my purpose. And I'm glad because it's like I'm about to be a senior and life it's getting real. It's 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 getting real. So gotta get my life together. But I'm really just extremely grateful for this project, for the love that I received. I got my name out there, like people know who Elise is, people know who she's prices is, like I'm making a name for myself and a brand and that's all I've ever wanted to do. Um, but yeah. So <laughs> someone also asked me what made me what made me want to do love at the Mecca when I have not experienced love. And I wanted to punch that person in the throat. But I wanted, the main thing I wanted people to take away is that we all have to heal. We all have to heal because there's this strong stigma that we can't be happy because we are so toxic. And we're so proud to be toxic. In reality, you just had to mature. Like, social media plays a big part in it. Um, people are like, what's the word for non-positive? Like, bad influences, like, we just see a lot of tox toxicity, toxicity. And we mirror that, we mirror that subconsciously, consciously, we mirror a lot of that and I wanted to show, do a project that showed the beauty and being in love and beauty and the beauty of what taking a chance looks like and what being happy looks like. And it doesn't have to be when you get older. Like I said, I had freshmen, I had sophomores, I had juniors, I had seniors, I had people engaged. Like I had everything. And I really just wanted people to realize that love, black love can be achieved in all aspects so yeah um yeah like i said thank you all for supporting me i really really appreciate it more than you can ever understand um make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you're subscribed i have more beautiful beautiful content coming for you all um being very productive in this quarantine i hope you're safe i hope you're um i pray that you're well stay indoors so we can go outside again <laughs> um yeah but make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up make sure you like comment share subscribe as always and peace out sweet girl she's priceless i love you all bye